Hey everyone, this is Myra with The Setup, and today I'm interviewing Lucetta Zaytun, certified life and leadership coach, international speaker, and author of It's Already Tomorrow Here, Never Underestimate the Power of Running Away. Hi, Lucetta. Hi, thank you for having me. Absolutely, how's it going today? Great, great, how about with you? It's going pretty well, thanks. So I'm really glad to have you here today. I think you've got a lot of wonderful information that our viewers are gonna really be into. So first of all, I wanna ask you, what inspired you to write your book and what is it about? Well, what the book is about is after I raised six children and launched them out into the world, a life smack hit. I discovered that my husband had fallen in love with another woman. And I wow. literally hit the floor and curled up in the fetal position because I didn't even know who I was, not as a spouse or a mother. And, but I had an aha moment one night. I was like, wait a minute, I don't have to stay here. The kids are grown and gone. So that led me to put everything I owned in storage, sell my car, shut down my phone. That was painful. <laughs> and travel in developing countries by myself for a year. That's what the book is about. It's about that journey and the crazy stuff that happened while we were out there, while I was out there. But when I left, there was no way I would have thought I was going to write a book because I thought what I was doing was running away and being weak and cowardly and stupid. But when I got back into the United States and people were asking, well, where have you been? What happened? And I started sharing the story. I found that it was actually inspiring people to live more boldly, to think outside of the box, and to turn the tragedies into something really good. So then I said, okay, well, I do need to write this story. That's a, that's a pretty amazing and difficult story, I imagine. So the love of your life, this man that you were married to for how many years? Yes. Fell in love with someone else, and then you had the courage to let everything go, pick up, and totally move forward with your life and move on into something new and uncharted and different. Yes. So are you currently dating or in a relationship? I am currently dating on an internet okay. site, not in a relationship, but dating. Okay. And so do you think that that journey that you took and being able to just sever all those past connections, did that help you to really move forward and move on like with your dating and relationship journey? Oh, absolutely. Because what I first needed to do was go rediscover my own self, find my own authentic identity and figure out who I was again you know, alone, just me. That also helped me, you know, using all that courage and facing every fear that helped me define my own self and get my confidence back. And it helped me know who I was. So then that helps me by knowing who I am and being firmly rooted in who I am. It just makes things so much better when you want to get in a relationship with someone else, if you're good and solid. Absolutely. So I'm assuming that when you work with other people in your life and leadership coaching, that when you share your story with them, it helps them and gives them the motivation and courage to make the needed changes in their own life. Yes, it does seem to really inspire people. And I work a lot with people about leaving the things that aren't serving them anymore, which takes a lot of courage and des designing a life that they really love. You know, we don't Absolutely. need to just sleepwalk through our lives. We can have our lives be magnificent and fantastic. <laughs> <laughs>